Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, Cybersecurity Ranger. This is the third video uh, for NMAP scanning series. So in this video, I'm going to uh, talk about the NMAP scripting engine and how we can use the NMAP scripts uh, for various purposes. So first of all, the scripts uh, for uh, nmap they are actually located in slash user share nmap scripts directory so if you have a look there are hundreds of nmap scripts as you can see so obviously we cannot cover all of them so i'm just going to cover uh, some of the uh, most commonly used nmap scripts and then later on you can uh, work around with the other scripts uh, based on your needs and based on the uh, objective that you want to achieve, right? So the usage of these scripts is uh, pretty simple. Um, first of all, you need to pick the script that you want to use. So first of all, I'm going to use uh, the script HTTP-enumerate. So nmap-n and then port 80-script and http dash enumerate this is the script that i'm using um, and then the target ip address so this particular script is used to find some interesting files and directories on the target system so in my case um, the target is uh, a linux vm and as you can see here that it found it found the uh, the directories slash root slash php my admin and then also slash upload potentially interesting directory, right? So again, um, uh, depending on the target that you're trying to run this script on, it could be a web server. So you may be looking for some interesting directories on a web server. Um, I think I forgot to mention uh, in my uh, previous uh, videos, you can also, instead of mentioning the IP address, you can also use the uh, the domain uh, name itself. So scanme.nmap.org. Uh, so here also you can see, um, fail to initiate the scripting engine, do not match a category, so sorry. To mention the script, http dash enumerate, and then you can give the domain name that you're trying to uh, target. <clears throat> so if there are any interesting directories or uh, so you can also see that it found uh, slash images slash shared directories on the target domain that is scanme.nmap.org, right? So this is the first script, HTTP enumeration. Uh, the second script that I'd like to talk about is uh, the SMB. OS discovery. So let me just see the script. There are plenty of SMB um, uh, scripts, as you can see here, vulnerability scanners, enumerating the users, enumerating the shares, enumerating domains. So it really depends uh, on which script that you want to use. So the one that I'm looking for would be somewhere here. It's fine, I'm just going to go ahead and... So the script that I'm trying to use is smb-os-discovery. What it does is that it tries to uh, discover the operating system on the target. Um, so the port that uh, we are using is 445 for SMB OS discovery. So let's go ahead pretty quick. And uh, as you can see that it basically gives you the details of the operating system. Um, here we are using Windows 7 Professional. I can run it on another target, but no. Uh, so SMB is usually for the Windows operating system. All right. So... 
Another script that I want to use is the DNS brute. So let's try to find out DNS brute. So this is the script that I'm going to use on DNS brute. It actually uh, tries to uh, find out the uh, the domains of a target. So um, in the reconnaissance uh, phase, I have used plenty of tools that can do this job. But if you are looking to use Nmap uh, to discover or to brute force the domains, not brute force uh, in the sense of attacking, but in the sense of finding out the subdomain. So I'm going to run this script called dns-brute on cisco.com and try to see if we can find out the subdomains of uh, or the domains of cisco.com. <clears throat> It'll take uh, probably a few seconds to complete. You can also use the uh, the hyphen V option to see it in the word boss. So you can see here uh, the result of this particular script. You can see the domains of Cisco and their IP addresses. So it's a pretty good script if you are trying to perform domain reconnaissance. Some of them are on IPv6. The others on our, are on IPv4, right? And as you can see, there's an FTP domain as well uh, with the IP address. All right, so this was about the uh, domain script. Uh, the next one that I want to use is is called a uh, vulnerability scanner. Now for vulnerability scanner script, it's by default not available in Linux, uh, in Kali Linux, in the Nmap script engine. So what you have to do is that uh, you may have to download the script and then uh, I'll just show you how you can All right, so nmap, it's called one scan script. So you can actually get it from the GitHub. You can see here, this is the link. So once you go here, you just, all you need to do is to copy this, the URL link, and then uh, run these two commands in order to install the script. So first thing that you are going to do is uh, inside the scripts folder, you will just write git clone and then uh, press enter. I've already uh, copied it. So once you have copied it, you will go inside this directory. Uh, I will just show you quickly. So you can see here the one scan directory. You can go to one scan directory and then you can see here the script that we will use is called one scan. So the script that we are going to use is one scan dot NSC. But before you run that script or try to use that script because it won't work, if you go to the uh, to this uh, uh, GitHub, you will see here that in order for the Installation, you need to move to this directory, which I'm already there. And then you need to just run these two commands, uh, git clone for this, and then um, um, use the second command to create a symbolic link for this, right? Once you run these two commands, um, after that, you're good to go and you can run the script. So in order to run the script, uh, it's a little bit not different, I would say, but because this is a script that we have uh, downloaded and it's a customized script. So the way to use it is nmap-sv is for the service version scan, hyphen hyphen script equal to the path to the script. So one scan, forward slash one scan, and then uh, you have the IP address of the target. Now, let me make this as 131, the Windows machine. All right, so it didn't work. Let me just go to this 
directory. Oh, sorry, I'm already in this directory. So I guess what I can do is, and then write one scan dot nse. Okay, strange. Well, let me see, doesn't make the category. Okay, let me try to troubleshoot this issue and then I will start the recording again. All right, so I don't think there was an issue with this command. So nmap hyphen hyphen SV is the service version scan hyphen hyphen script, one scan and one scan dot NSC and then the target IP address. So this time it's working. I don't know why it was not working previously. Maybe there was there was a mistake, a spelling mistake or something. I don't see any. Yeah, there's no error, but it's very strange. All right. Now this scan is going to take some time. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pause the video. Okay. Not too long, so it's already done. Okay. I think still there is some. A, this one is the jetty and it gives you the vulnerability that you can see here the cve the vulnerability that is with this particular version of jetty as you can see and you can also see plenty of other vulnerabilities related to this particular service and the cve numbers are also given so uh, once you find the vulnerabilities, I will discuss it in the exploitation phase that what you actually need to do in order to exploit a certain vulnerability. But for now, you can see that the script is working and it was able to detect a lot of vulnerabilities on this particular target. And no surprise, because it is a vulnerable machine that I'll uh, probably use in uh, one of the uh, exploitation phases, right? So you can see here some other results as well apart from jetty right let me try it on 131 which is a windows operating system let's see what kind of vulnerabilities we are going to get on uh this particular target so let me just pause the video maybe it will take more time than the uh, linux machine and i'll just start the recording again all right, so it took a while to complete the vulnerability scan. And it is always going to take time when you're doing vulnerability scanning. Somehow my Terminator is skipping some of the output. I don't know why. However, you can see here, there are plenty of vulnerabilities on this machine as well. Uh, you can see here memory corruption, there's a code execution, there's a remote code execution vulnerability. Um, then if we just scroll down, uh, uh, you can even see here that there is an FTP guest account which is enabled on this machine. Um, uh, there's a net bias share access control weakness as well. Uh, CAFS is there, mm, fragmented IP saturation, DOS, vulnerable to the DOS attack, registry key permission weakness. So a lot of vulnerabilities are there. 
And again, there's no surprise because it is a vulnerable machine that I usually use for the demonstrations. So, so this was about um, uh, using the vulnerability uh, scanning script. And like I told you, this script is by default not available in uh, Nmap, so you have to download and install it from GitHub. All right. Uh, now, another script that I would like to use is called the geolocation script, which uses uh, trace route. So I'm going to use this script on one of my domains, linux infosec.com. So the script is traceroute-geolocation.nsc using the port 80. So the, as you can see, basically utilizing the script, it's almost same. The method is same hyphen hyphen script, and then you need to give the script that you want to use, right? And then the target domain. So it should go and try to find out the location. So as you can see, this particular uh, domain is hosted in United States. We can run it on another domain just to find out the location. So you can see here, this particular domain is located in Pakistan. All right, so that was the geolocation script and one more script that I will use. Uh, and then I'll conclude my demonstration for today. So the script that we are using now is HTTP web application firewall detection uh, script. And what it does is that it basically tells you whether there is a firewall, there's a web application firewall, uh, you know, on this particular domain. So linux-infosec.org, sorry, org. Okay, that's funny not org and dot com and uh, you can basically see here that uh, it says here that the http WAF is detected the web application firewall is there so this particular script is used only to detect whether there is a web application firewall uh, or not uh, we can try it on some other domain just to show you the difference if the domain is behind a web application firewall now you can see here on this particular domain cisco.com it's not behind the web application firewall however it says here that a web application firewall has been detected um, there are other scripts as well let me show you sorry um I hope I can show you quickly because the video is getting a bit longer. So you can find here there are there are some other um, scripts for the web application firewall, which basically what they do is that they will try to fingerprint and tell you what exactly the web application firewall is there. Right, so you can see here. So there's another one. So this one was the one that I used. And then you have this web fingerprint dot NSC, which tells you what kind of uh, web application firewall it is. And then you have the WordPress scripts. You have plenty of other scripts you can brute force. There is also, I remember I used a script uh, in order to brute force the password of the IP cameras. Uh, you know, uh, the more you explore, the more you will learn, right? So with this, I will conclude my demonstration for today. I would like to request you to please subscribe to the channel for more interesting videos. Thank you very much and have a nice day.